Yeah, so it's David Gutierrez from Pixel Perfect NYC. And we're in Chinatown right now. And like I said, the city's empty. I'm blogging on the 5D Mark IV. Um, I just wanna show, let you guys know that it is possible. Uh, this is not, I didn't make this video for to show you guys it's a long video. It's just a simple, quick example. And once again, you see yourself like this and um, so I keep my phone on me and whenever I want to make sure the camera angle is correct or um, um, I'm not shaky too much because it is heavy then you know I keep I keep my phone um, connected to the ca camera and that gives me more of an idea of how everything's coming out Very windy today, but we're here roaming the streets of New York with a Canon Mark IV. And as you can see, it weighs a ton. I gotta take a break, this thing is heavy. But the quality, you can't, you can't beat it. Is that good? We're back where we started. It's pretty cold out here. Get in the car, it's freezing. All right, so, thoughts. So like I said, um, I keep, usually keep my phone connected. That way you get an idea on how you're looking when you're, you know, you're, you're trying to vlog. Um, the only reason I took this route and I decided to, to try using my camera was because um, originally I was gonna purchase, um, I think the M50, the Canon M50. Um, but before I decided to do that, I realized that it doesn't have um, um, body stabilization like the Sony cameras have. So I was still indecisive if I should buy. I know that it's nice and light and it's not gonna take a toll on my arm carrying it. But I also kept in mind that um, I'm a photographer and I own a bunch of equipment already. I got the, you know, like I said, the five, the five D, Mark IV, the Mark III, and a bunch of lenses. So I figured, you know what? Let me try vlogging using this, and if it takes a toll on my arm where I feel like it's falling off, then I'll, I'll, I'll decide if I, I want to purchase a, a smaller body. I also own the GoPro. Um, it's a great little handy camera to have, but it's not gonna give you the same quality as you, you will get with this. This is like a whole different ball game. Um, and this is why I'd rather use my full frame camera. That's another plus side about using a full frame camera is that in low light situations and um, you, your options are better. Check out this view guys. you guys down for a little bit until I figure out which way I want to go. Be right back. Like I was saying, um, some of the pros and cons, um, quality on this camera, it's top notch. Um, you're able to shoot HD, you're able to shoot um, 4K, you have lots of options. 
um, um, downside, the weight of the camera, you can't see yourself. Um, it's, and that kind of sucks. But like I said, if you're like myself, where you guys already own the equipment and you want to see what route you really want to take when it comes to vlogging, um, this is the best way I, I will recommend. Um, use what you have um, until you get the results you want. But like I said, if it becomes overwhelming, then you may need to take a, a different route where you got to purchase a, a camera where it'll be lighter. Um, um, you'll be able to see yourself. It's going to have the screen. And those are always plus size, you know. And of course, those, those little camera, um, they kick ass. They come with, you know, 4K. They come with image stabilization. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, um, you're probably, even if they don't come with image stabilization, it should still look really good because um, the camera's so light that you're able to handheld it. And um, you're going to have more control. More control of it versus carrying something this heavy, it's 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 not the same. Um, um, I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way for you guys to to save money. What if you're starting to vlog? Do I recommend you go to Best Buy, B and H, and purchase a a full frame heavy camera like this? Of course not. Um, I'm new I'm new to vlogging myself, but. If you own the equipment, use what you have, and and um, most of the time you're gonna be able to just stop somewhere and set the camera down on a tripod and and vlog. And if that becomes too heavy, you always got your phone too. Remember, these phones come with um, 1080, um, 4K, and they have all that built in it with in the same stabilization. So if you cut in and out of your footage and you're able to go from, you know, regular um, um, video from a, from a phone, the quality is gonna be good enough where you're gonna capture everything you need. Another plus side about having a full frame camera with you is um, eventually you're gonna be able to, if you're in a, at a location where you're gonna have a killer scene and where you want the best quality possible, um, you got this puppy with you, you know, you're gonna have the full frame camera with you. But if you're, you don't have that option and you're walking around with, um, you know, a, a small little camera, which is fine. It's, it's gonna do the job, but not, it's not gonna compare to a full frame camera with, um, you know, all the lenses you got, all the options you got. Like I carry a bag full of lenses um, just in case you know, I see something I really like, I, I, I want to capture it um, to the highest quality I could possibly put out. So, um, th those are just my suggestions. At the end of the day, everybody has a budget, everybody's trying to figure out what works best for them. Um, this, as, as of right now, this works best for me until I get tennis elbow. And then um, I may make another video complaining about my tennis elbow. But as of right now, we're good. Um, I'm able to, you saw, I, I walked with it. I drove holding it, which I don't recommend that, guys. So don't, <laughs> don't do that. But um, it's just to give you guys an example that it's possible, you know. a little a little more footage um, the lens I'm using is actually the Canon um, 16 to 35 millimeter um, 2.8 um, it's pretty good it doesn't have built-in stabilization and as you can see um, it, the camera you know everything works pretty well it's, it's pretty steady everything um, if I had the other lens on the 24 to 105, that lens has um, built-in stabilization, but um, it's a it's a 24 millimeter it starts at. So I figure with the wide lens, um, you have 
you know, you have more to play with, so it's the best route. And this foot, this type of footage, um, you know, this is all blogging footage. You, you throw a little bit of stabilization in this, and when you're editing it, and it's gonna look just fine because the quality, like I said, it, it's it, it it beats everything. Like, look look at my video quality. It's like you can't go wrong. For now, guys, I'm gonna sign off. Um, please like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys soon i got a couple of vid upcoming videos and um you'll be surprised i might do something by the beach coming soon i'm also going to do something um some car videos um that are based on custom com customizing the car and performance wise and um, um stay tuned and take care of yourself cover up Let's beat this coronavirus. Um, see you guys soon.